All right, I'm at my house and we are going to build a hearth pad for my wood burning stove. So here we've got some hearth stones and these hearth stones are pretty thick, They're about two and a half inches thick, 18 and a half by 19 and a half inches. And we're gonna set them just like tile. Um, I've got some, uh, metal lath here and I'll show you in a minute I uh, just nailed it right to the floor of my house I've got a subfloor and I nailed it right over the carpet but uh, I'll show you that in a minute so I've got these hearth stones and we are going to install a hearth pad for my wood burning stove. So here it is, I've already nailed down the metal lath and it's pretty tight. I've doubled it up and we are going to put about probably a good half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch of uh, that type S mortar and stick these stones down just like you would a ceramic tile. Um, now the reason I left the carpet is just cutting it and you know making it loose I'd have to put tack strip this is just a lot easier um, if I ever replace the carpet then I can just cut it along where the stone is and it's no big deal if you want to cut it you can but I'm choosing not to so that's the size it's basically about 55 inches and then I 45 across the front with one stone um, here's the stove. It is a uh, Vermont casting and I got this used but I cleaned it up and so I've got my stove right here and my chimney pipe is already installed ready to go. So I'll be back. Alright I've got all the stones laid down and I haven't cemented them in yet but I just wanted to show you how I laid it out and we've got again we've got this metal lath underneath and I doubled it up I just nailed it right to the carpet and I'm gonna put about a half inch of type S mortar and cement these down so I just wanted to show you I've got three going one way and three the other way and then 45 to cross the front hope you like it and uh, I'll show you the finished product when I'm done and with along with grouting in the uh, the gaps here alright we've got type S mortar it's all mixed up and I'm going to start the back here I'm going to go about a half inch thick of mortar, get it in the corner really good. Got these stones all laid out where I want them. Push it in. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to continue on with the whole thing and I'll show you when it's done. So, one last thing we've got the, uh, the block set and we are just grouting in the joints. So what I do is just get a little on the edge here and just fill in the cracks. So we're almost done. Just going to do this. Let it set up just a little bit. And I've got 
on, so I'll just get this filled in and take my finger and just kind of push it in there, rub it in really good, and clean it up just like we're grouting tile. So I think I've showed you everything, and I'll come back and just show you once I've got it all cleaned up. All right, here it is, all finished. It's all cleaned up. Turned out really good. I really like the dark uh, black grout with the, the gray. And this is our beautiful Vermont casting wood stove. And I still need to hook up the pipe, connect it to the chimney box. But there it is just about ready and I'm gonna show you another video that will have the the finished product all ready to go so I'll show another video with uh, burning the stove but anyhow thanks for watching and good luck